Hey, what is up, friends? My name is Angel Alex, and welcome back to the channel. We are back with some more of Life is Strange 2, Episode 5, Part 20. I believe we're getting into this thing, guys. I am determined. I think I'm going to finish this episode today. So, it'll be uploaded within the next couple of weeks. But, I'm ready, and I hope you guys are too. So, let's do this thing. It's kind of like this. Yeah, I've read about it. Damn, it's she pushed a me. video game, right? Yes, and you to build whatever. That's cool, you Joanne want. trusted me to help build her sculpture. Ooh, you have to show me then. Precarious patriot, shrouded in dust. Should we talk to Daniel? Can we talk to Daniel now? Oh, we gotta figure out how to get this uh, next souvenir, guys. Let me see here. It's a nice, pretty sleeping bag. What do we got here? What's this? Food container. Um, okay, gotcha. Um, right, we need to figure out... Oh, we just drew it. Okay, we drew this. We're pretty much caught up on our journal, I believe, yeah. Uh, but the next souvenir, I believe, is up... Yeah, up there. So, I'm right, pretty sure... Politics. Maybe Can not. You hate it? Maybe I'm- you know what? Maybe I missed it during the building. Now that I think about it. So I'm a little upset. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That is totally a place. All the way down. I might have missed it. So I can't get back up. Uh, I guess let's Bad talk to- habits turn, turn- I mean, let's um- darkness. Let's talk to Joanne. Or... Uh, just- You okay, Joanne? As fine as frogs here, sweetie. I, I like to take a good look at a piece after I'm done working on it. Uh, it helps me connect with it. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me be a part of it. Oh, thank you, Sean. See you around, hon. Yep, yep. I guess I can't talk to Daniel, so let's keep on looking around, shall we? We didn't really get to explore this whole place. So, um... No matter what happened before... Karen did hook us up here. Ah, Stanley and Arthur, Morning, my, my guys. Morning, guys. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And desert. thus free. <laughs> Thanks. So much. Sean, it's no, too no, no, early no. to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <sighs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times. That'd be awesome. But it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. <laughs> and canyon will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Yeah, let me just pop Even this my telescope Becky out of my pocket. To stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Becky! We'll be leaving soon. She visits a lot. Does she come visiting often? <sighs> Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her. But you know. Well, some parts of the year, this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. Why come here and never get bored? So... I mean, I kind of know why, but... Because we got tired of people's bullshit. Things change. But being gay is still dangerous. The end. Yeah. Sean, I'm almost 60, and I was a happily married man for 20 years. Until I came out. I don't blame my family for being in shock, but I didn't think they'd disown me. My other daughters won't even talk to me anymore. It's sad. So why stay? <sighs> After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own way. You will. People come here to reset their life. 
become the person they want to be or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for <laughs> yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna hang around before it gets too hot. I like them. Thanks for the desert, Brew. It's good talk, good talk. All right. These two remind Ooh. me of Claire and Steven. In a weird hippie version. Discuss. Oh my god, I just remembered what happened with the bears. <laughs> you think they picked this up at the gas station? I hope not. It's too cute. <laughs> Looks like Brody. Aww. <laughs> I sure wish we had him around. Now. I miss Brody. He was a good guy. You're right. Cool, we got the pride flag hanging. <laughs> now that's some real patriots. Nice, nice. All right. Um... Where else can we look then? Sh I guess let's go this way. Because we came from the other way. This is such a. Hey, Sean! What? What were you doing at Oscar and Stanley's place? Oh, he's up You're there. You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kinda weird. Kinda normal? I don't care. You're a stalker. Kinda normal. You know, it's actually normal for people in love to kiss, right? I know. I just mean, they're really cute together. <laughs> I hope somebody cares about me like that when I get old. Aww. It's nice of him to say. Since he's up there, let me see if I can, um, get that souvenir. No? You stalking me, bro? <laughs> Super Wolf to LDS Blow Loco. Coffee. I hid something super cool for you to find. Mm. Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? Hell yeah. 10 4. Okay. You're on it, Nano. If I can find you in a forest, I can find anything. I got this. I got this. Sweet Sean. Listen carefully. Okay. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. This kid's too smart. That's, that's, it. <laughs> that's your clue? You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. And don't bother checking mom's trailer. It's outside. Alright. We're good. For new clues. Love the energy out here. With everyone building stuff as they please. Isn't it? Dude! You're a snowman! You're a snowman. You're way out there, dude. You're warming up! Karen and Joanne spend evenings playing and chatting. <sighs> Kinda like me and Lila. Oh, Lila. Back in the day. He says I was warming closer. Ah, this one? Not. Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. You missed Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Am I warming up now? What's the deal? No. As cold as ever. I was warming up over here then. Dude, you're a snowman. Bro, what the fuck? He said I was warming up earlier. Getting warm? This way? Getting closer. Sand drawing? Warm. If you go too far... You lose your walkie-talkie signal. Okay, well, where the fuck is it? <laughs> this way? Way nope. cold. The fuck? This way? Getting closer. Alright, getting closer. Warm. Hmm. You're in the middle zone. Oh man, 
You're right there. Right here. Ah, hidden cup. Or hidden clue. It's close, Sean. Is that a plane? Paper airplane? Or is it just a drawing? Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Ah, this reminds me of uh, Captain Spirit a little bit. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh huh. Sure. A solar panel, maybe? Do they have solar panels out here? Um, I can't look at the map. Oh no, he said I had to find two pieces. Okay. Um, first thing I'm. You're warming up. I am already. Okay. Getting warm. Uh huh. I'm getting there. Getting there. Getting eats the sun. This part of town is dead this time of year. This way then. I should stay around here. Not too far. In the middle zone. You're in the middle zone. Getting closer. Fuck eight sun. <laughs> ah. You're warming up. It's not this. Ah, right here. Solar panels, I was right. Just grab it. You're here. Alright. Getting things done. I was right. I was surprised I have well I'm not actually I'm not surprised they have solar panels out here. Alright, um Let's see. Where are we? Okay, I see where we are. So it's past Joanne's place, no? Found it. Nice. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Actually, was it Captain Spirit or was oh, it? Um, I think I have the whole that treasure. episode with uh, Captain, Chloe and Max. Now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. <laughs> That's a cool ass map you drew, dude. Thanks. Chris told me everything about treasure hunting. Okay, I can't look at the map again. <laughs> You're in the middle zone. Swap box. Not too far. Getting there. Getting, Getting closer. Ooh, is there gonna be a maze? <laughs> it burns. Warm. The fuck? Where is it? Oh man, you're right there. Just look around. I'm missing something. Uh, it burns. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, I don't see anything, Daniel. Ah, right here. Warm. What is that? Little sun. Ooh. Looks like something's buried here. That's cute. Yes. Is that an earring? I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think I that's our souvenir. Do it. I found this under an old trailer. Looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Store. You know what time it is. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Come on. What kind of dance is that? Let's do it. Can we do the floss? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. You asked for it. He was just talking about how I can't dance too. Alright. New souvenir, guys. Nice. Let's uh, attach it. Let's get rid of this thing. Definitely don't want, to mem want any memories of Haven Point. Because <laughs> that was brutal. Alright. Oh, I think you're spotting Mom's truck coming back. Where? Mm, yes, 100% her. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. Mom. 
bouncier. Ooh, I yes. hear it. Oh, I see her. Sit and draw? I can just sit. Run me over, mother! He's coming. Hit me! Oh shit! Watch out! <laughs> shit, I thought she was gonna drive around me. That'd be cool. I looks like David. I'll let him know we're back. Gotta empty that truck. I could get used to that scenery. That's not. That's not David. Right. Going to that small town for supplies always bums me out. Hey, what's up? Hey, good morning. <laughs> that looks so much Howdy, like David. Sean? How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. I don't know. Here come the sand people. <laughs> the deserters I don't know. have Maybe returned not. with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> Damn, it's a lot of groceries. I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. <laughs> and hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Hey, thanks, Angel. Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. <laughs> Catch you later. Take care. Hey. What's up? So, how did you guys like your night in the canyon? Amazing. It was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it. Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. It's so crazy she's back in our lives again. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something. I swear to God, that's David. <laughs> Whoa, yes. Maybe it's not, maybe Thanks, it is. David. <laughs> oh, it is David! Catch, Danny boy. Totally. Me and Dad always used to play. What the fuck but is I'm he doing out here? And what happened with him and... What's her name? No matter what he's been through, he just oh, wants to wait. be a kid. Oh, wait. Didn't she die? And play. <laughs> yep. Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a Why is he like a hippie now? No time like... you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. Yeah, not anymore. He's seen a lot worse. And that made him tougher. And he can defend himself. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> you boys have been here over a month. And I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> skills. Me neither. He's scared? Me neither. <laughs> Me neither. But I never figured it out, so I don't try anymore. Well, take it from an old soldier. But you trained him well. He's a good kid. Thanks, David. <sighs> Thanks. I forgot I Chloe's mom died because of the storm. I guess it's reassuring. But what do I know? Never met someone with a superpower before. I try to be a good influence. Not always easy. But he listens to me. I don't know if I did right. Guess you never really know. Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me. Combat was easier. You're married? How many kids? How many kids? Oh, you didn't tell me you had kids. How many? <laughs> None. I was a stepdad. Or... In her case, step douche. A step douche. Oh my god. <laughs> Before her mom died, oh. we never got along. Chloe. She was angry. I was stupid. We were like oil and water, and she was always starting shit. <laughs> Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father, especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. But we eventually made our peace. Anyway, you can't go back. Nope. Thanks for talking, David. Where is she? Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> I miss Chloe. 
Catch you later, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Time out. Oh my God, I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. Alrighty then. I'm curious about if I want to, you know, not she is so cool. save you think? Chloe. <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. I'm just, Whatever. I feel like can't help it if I like Karen. <laughs> I don't know if like just be you and David I'm would still be I'm with her. Saying. Like I'm don't get interested too cozy. now. This is a what rest stop. I know the other outcomes are. I'm trying to like talk, but like not talk over them. <laughs> okay. Loading time. I've never seen this before. <laughs> Why is there a loading screen? There we go. That's smart that everybody takes turns shopping. All right. Um. I guess let's go back. Talk to our mother. To admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather sometimes. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? It's another world. Too remote for me. Everybody's cool. It's another world. This place is like another world. Don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> I think you just did. It has a unique atmosphere. <laughs> That's why people come here, from all over the country, for their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. We live as an outcast, so peaceful here. I'm curious about what this Hope it's is. worth it. It's not easy to live as outcasts. Off the grid? Clearly not. Yeah. We ought to be almost self-sufficient, and it's a very lonely life. It's cool you found your safe space. I guess. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. I couldn't live here. How did you find this place? So... How did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone. Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. Well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. <laughs> By the way, can you grab your brother so we can all uh, talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could like spend it? this day together. Okay. Just the three of us. I'm a little worried now. <laughs> she hides some. Big brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Sure. I mean, 10-4. <laughs> Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. All right. Hmm. Interesting. Whew. That's insane, though, that we ran into David. And like I said, like I, I'm curious about how the other outcome is like, and would we even see we David or would we see somebody else? Creek. It was so perfect. It's got yeah. me wondering. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man. 
I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. What? Can't get enough of this place. Something, something's wrong. Something's not right. I'm a little worried. <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <sighs> <sighs> All right, onward. Slow down, Mom. And upward. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. Then you'll pass me up. <laughs> Guys, check this out. Now this is nature's art. It's so big and pretty. And so quiet. Except for the birds of prey. Shh. Listen. Serious? If we're lucky, yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Uh oh! I hear a wolf. <laughs> Better be careful of hunters out here. The wolf brothers can't be trapped. You'd help us. You must hide all the time, Mom. There's not a lot to do, but it's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Uh, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. <laughs> You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. I don't... Something just doesn't feel right. I'm not sure what she's going at here. But, um... I guess she's just trying to spend time with us? But it just seems a little off. I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. Yeah. I bet. It's the best spot. <laughs> Let's sit down. So beautiful. So, hey. I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. Got to know you better. You helped us a lot. You actually helped us. Regret leaving you us. Gave us a place to recharge up. and lay low. No kidding. I was so beat down after Haven Point. I know. This is the best place to take some time for yourself. You don't get that chance very often in life. Just know I love both of you so much, and I'm proud of who you are. And. Where you're going. You should come with us. <clears throat> By the way, um, if you wanted to, you could come with us to Mexico. That would be cool. I would love to come see you settled into a new home. But. You're almost there. But. I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. There it is. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Uh, Shoot. Uh, find <laughs> us. God, man. These guys can never catch a break. Well. Figures. This can not last forever. So... This is it? That's why she wanted to go out here. See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? Hmm. It's sad. That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh! 
I love those things. Those uh, lanterns? Yeah. Whoa, awesome. Cool. Let's light up the sky. It's so cute. So I guess we leave him. Police. Back family after a Nevada fire? What? Seek family? Maybe that was an S. It's a big ass mug. Um. Are you guys all set up to leave? No. So that's we have to leave again. I think I'm kind of scared. Oh, oh honey. How far is the border? Not that far. Uh, maybe a uh, five or six hours drive it won't be easy crossing that border so i'm gonna give you a head start from the police wait how what's your plan the cops are after me too for what happened in nevada so they can catch me instead of you fair trade uh, no. <laughs> jail for helping us our mother it's not about me right now we need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. You don't have to. Thank you. Thank you. So much, Karen. I knew what I was doing mm -hmm. when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. I feel so bad. I tried to live by my own rules. No matter what. I don't expect you boys to be like me. But try to stay true to yourselves. This is your life. Don't let anybody get in the way. Dad didn't raise us this way. We'll do whatever it takes. Fuck the rules. We'll do whatever we can to survive. That's fair. Yes, it is. You took care of Daniel all the way from Seattle to Arizona. Nobody could ask for a better brother. Or son. Okay. This is the last roundup. Wait, let me see bye to Joanne. All right. I'm gonna go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Uh, you should go see David. He has something for you. 
perhaps okay. Chloe? <laughs> Right to Karen, hell yeah. Hey mom. Hey Karen. Now we're gonna call her mom. She's been hey, a good mom. mom. I know you're better with words than me, but still, here it goes. I think I finally get you. Thanks for Daniel. It took me some time, but I think I get why you are who you are. <sighs> Maybe we're not that different. Don't give up on your freedom. Sorry for getting you into trouble. Please don't give up on your freedom. Okay? It's the best thing you've taught us. We'll reach you once we find our own freedom. Thank you so much. Love. Sean. Don't leave letter, rewrite, leave as is. Leave as is. I think I don't want to spend too much time writing. Because we gotta go see David. But I think that's good. Um, let's see, any souvenirs? What is this? Sarah's now. Oh yeah, this is Daniel's bag, that's right. Um. Waffles. I guess we still got a while. <laughs> it seems like... It feels like it's about to end, even though it's only been a little bit. Huh. Is that the same person who rode her back in Beaver Creek? I think I already looked at all this stuff, so let's go ahead and head back out to go see David. That truck looks so familiar. It looks... I mean, that RV. Okay, dude. Don't forget about David. I'm trying to remember where I've seen this trailer from. Because it's not... Um... It's not what's his face, Frank's. Did Chloe and did they have a? Yeah, this was in. This was in the that episode where they drew this, wasn't it? This place has too many adults. A supposedly fun thing I'll never do again. I think maybe this was in. Oh, I can't remember. I guess maybe it was just in Chloe's house or something. I don't know. Let's knock. Hello. <laughs> Sean. I want to hey. see your your RV. <laughs> Aaron said you wanted to see me. Yeah, but go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. Come on. I'll join you when I'm done. Sweet, we get to snoop around his RV. <laughs> Oh, it's so clean. Picture! Picture! Chloe! Must be his wife. <sighs> Time's taking a serious toll on him since this. Chloe. Poor guy. Snoop around. As if money could make up for everything he's lost. Mr. Madsen encloses your most recent deposit statement from the city of Arcadia Bay as per your negotiated settlement for damages please ensure the amount is accurate and that your bank has processed the latest deposit if you have any questions please contact us monday through friday 8 a.m to 5 p.m best darren bar agent glen rose insurance portland oregon is that the only thing in there yeah as if money could make up for everything Police he's lost scanner get that later um broken tv arthur said david could fix anything <laughs> he hopes Got some more pictures. Definitely go look at these bad boys. Hmm. They look cool. I wonder which one is his daughter. Oh my goodness. 
Where are they? I want to see them. <laughs> oh my goodness. Chloe and Max. Chloe's hair is so long now. They just look so grown up. It's freaking me out. Cool portraits. Nice. <laughs> Didn't think David had a taste for the arts. Aw, I just realized these are Polaroids. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is there any Banes yep. in there? David is ready for that apocalypse. <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. CDs. <laughs> yeah. Me and David won't be sharing any playlist. <laughs> Got that banjo music, yo. That must have been the best meal ever. Two whales to frame on the wall. That's gotta be the one. I guess he has a frame just because uh, that's the where he met. Uh, what is Chloe's mom saying? I can't think of it. It starts with a J, you know? It would be weird to be back on the road with Daniel. After all this time in a community. Nothing out here. Box. Hello, Box. Damn. I see why David ended up out here. Dear... But he still was a hero. You done? Dear Mr. Madsen, sorry this is so late, but I put the wrong P.O. box address on the envelope and the letter was returned. Hope this one finds you. I'm glad you left Arcadia Bay. Oh, I saw Max and Chloe's name. Had a heart attack. Okay. <laughs> or what's left of it? I'm now going to therapy, which helps, but I still get time. I still get nightmares. I hope that Max and Chloe are keeping you company. They're a good team. I'm still in Seattle looking over my parents' gallery. Their partner... I figure who this is. The partner, Jessica, is great. She's taking care of everything. The, the will is a mess, but I'll be okay. It's hard to get over the fact that I'm... It's hard to get over the fact that, in a way, I owe my life to Mark Jefferson. Oh my goodness. She's taking care of everything. Uh, I've already read that part now. Where am I? Throwing me... Oh my life to Mark Jefferson throwing me in his fucking bunker. I get flashes of his creepy face. Of his creep face all the time. But then I see yours coming to rescue me. I'll probably be thanking you for the rest of my life for that. Please keep in touch with this address for a while and let me know if there's anything I could help you with. Thanks again for your service. Best wishes, Victoria. Chase, people! Oh my goodness. I'm sure- I've played Life is Strange so many times. I don't remember my last playthrough. I guess my last playthrough- uh, David saved Victoria and Max. Because I know there was one playthrough where Victoria wasn't even there. So again, I'm curious on how this would all play out if otherwise, like... Jesus, this is insane. Why is it in a bo A, B, what does that stand for? Arcadia Bay. Ah, I'm stupid. <laughs> okay, I think that's everything. All these little Easter eggs are giving me... Giving me chills. And I'm so happy right now that I got a picture of Chloe and Max. Okay. I want to see more, damn it. <laughs> yeah, I think that's everything. I miss I'm probably going to go back and play Life is Strange now. I miss Chloe and, Ma Chloe and Max. wonder where David got this police scanner. Because he was a step douche. Don't you remember? Okay. How does this thing work? Tagalog power. Uh... Okay. Toggle, not toggle off. We gotta search between 140 and 160. Oh, is this an Easter egg? Hope you're having a lovely morning time. Mm -hmm. Nope. Definitely not. And here you go. Another hit from the back door. Mm -hmm. Nope. <laughs> Definitely not. Sounds like country. <laughs> uh, 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 One thirty six, <laughs> listening. We've got reports Wait, of uh, is this it? Down by Sam's? Now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. Sweet. <laughs> Thanks, David. You big rebel. I was hoping there'd be a little Easter egg in there too, but I guess there wasn't. Uh, let's go ahead and leave since we've done all we can do. All the snooping.
and mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? I sure did. Yep. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right. This is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now, you have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? Hmm. Sure. I think so. I think so. Just realized his tattoo is in memory. You have to know. The police are on your ass. I know. You only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. A dick. Just <laughs> honest. I know, David. Thanks. Here. Have a seat. Is she gonna tell us a little story? I don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. When our town was destroyed by that hurricane. Now, my stepdaughter and her friend were among the only survivors. We lost everyone else. Jeez. I'm sorry. I used to hate them for running away. They hit the road straight away. Never to look back. While I was trying to rebuild. Music is hitting me hard. Get along now? Why come here and get along now? Did you stay in touch? Do you get along now? <laughs> yeah. It took me a while to acknowledge the past was the past and move on. Like they did. Once I realized that, I reached out to them. And we made peace with each other. They stayed here for a while. It felt good to connect with my daughter at last. You guys remind me of them, in a way. And I don't want to fuck things up this time. Sean, I'm going to do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But I want to be straight up with you, OK? Yeah, of course. I know you guys got screwed. But you think nobody will ever believe you. But the truth is on your side. You and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? If you step up and face the law, you can be free. Sooner than later. I don't know. I might... turn myself in. After I see what happens with Daniel. I know you want to settle down first, but... I don't know. It's gonna give us a shitty decision again, isn't open. it? Think about I'm gonna have to decide. And oh my god. Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So, I know you're on the right path. Please tell me that's Chloe. Chloe! <laughs> oh. Uh, sorry. I really have to take this. Damn, that vibration. And he touched my shoulder. The controller was like, holy hey, shit. Hey, sweetie. There's Chloe. What's up? I want to talk to her. Can I snoop? Can I snoop? Can I snoop? Can I snoop? No shit. Told you New Yorkers were assholes. They're in New York. Yeah, I know. Me too. I know too. How about that other gallery she told me about? 
Cool. Fingers crossed then. <laughs> nah, your old man doesn't fear the heat. <laughs> I'm watching you. Yeah, those solar panels are finally up and running. You'll see them next time you come by. Uh, uh I don't know. Maybe if you drive down to Louisiana or Texas, hey. that'd be cool. Guess they're thinking about moving down, or what? Yeah, gotcha. All right. Take care, then. Wish Max luck for me. Max! <laughs> you said her name! Oh, I'm freaking out. Bye-bye. Love you. Okay, ya. let's get going. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode there, guys. Make sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed, and I'll see y'all in the next episode. Bye. Bye.